A uh, very nice win. Uh, great comeback. Uh, we didn't swing the bat uh, very well for for pretty much eight innings. Doug Fister did a fantastic job uh, and just kept us down the whole time. But there's no giving up on these guys. And uh, uh, talk about quality of bats in that last inning. Uh, every single one of those guys, starting with Michael Brantley, who had quality of bats the whole day. Uh, Cabrera. Um, uh, Chu moving the guy over, and then even Carlos, you know, worked the count uh, to 3-2 and hit the ball right at the second baseman, and then Hafner, you know, our big guy, stepped up to the uh, big in the, in the ninth inning. And I was uh, very happy that Fausto, you know, he didn't get to lose the ball game because he pitched, he pitched well. He really uh, battled for us for seven and, and, and two-thirds and uh, didn't deserve to lose the ball game. Um, Tony came out and, you know, hold them on that inning and threw a scoreless inning and, you know, we stayed there. These guys, uh, there's no giving up in them, in, in them and um, uh, that was a very nice ball game to win uh, considering the way, you know, we have swung the bat as of late. How confident do you feel with this team ninth inning when it's just, just a two-run deficit? I prefer not to answer that question. <laughs> I really don't, don't want to be feeling comfortable and being trailing in the ninth inning, but uh, <laughs> At least I know that you know that they're they're not going to roll over. Uh, that's that's the spirit that these guys have shown me since last year. And um, uh, going into the ninth, you always feel you have a chance, uh, especially if the game is close, because you know they're they're going to put up quality of bats. But uh, you know enough of that. I want to I want to just bring Chris Perez a few more times up by three four runs in the ninth. You don't want to be behind, but are you getting to the point where you almost expect something to happen? Nah, well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the way we're going, I don't want to be behind, to be honest with you. And I don't want to be expecting any good thing to happen either. But, uh, but can't help it now, you know, the way they, they have done it. Uh, it's like, hey, yeah, we have a chance. I mean, this guy continue to do it. And um, especially when those guys come up to the plate, you know, we know that right now Chu and Santana are still not up to their standards uh, as the hitters. But... Um, Brandley and, 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 and Cabrera have been huge, and we know that at any moment those two guys can pop one out or, or have a quality of bat like they did tonight, and, and it happened. It was a very nice game to win. Also, um, you know, with the crowd, uh, you know, the, the largest crowd since opening day, and, and it, it's always nice to win when you have crowds like that and uh, to, you know, to keep people happy and, and, and so they can tell that, you know, these guys are going all out for them. How important has Hafner been for this offense up to this point this season? You know, he's been, uh, he, he's been very important. Uh, he, he swung the bat really good the first two weeks, and he has hung in there, uh, uh, you know, the, the last couple of weeks, getting his hits here and there. And, you know, he hasn't been dri uh, driving a lot of runs and stuff, but those, those two today were, were huge. And uh, it's, it's a team effort, and uh, the fact that, couple of guys still struggling in the lineup, a few of them, and every night somebody steps up to help us win the ball game. It's nice because then it's going to give those other guys time to, to regroup and, 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 and hit at all cylinders. Man, what difference have you seen with Hafner besides just being healthy this year? That's it. You know, when you're, when you're healthy, when, when he's healthy, he trusts his hands. He can, he can take pitches uh, that, that in the past he was probably chasing he doesn't have to try to compensate and all that and um, you know we saw that since spring training his bat speed uh, he, he's been hitting the ball with more authority this year and um, you know it's uh, you just can't substitute health especially in this game it's uh, it's tough to win a game up here it's tough to get a hit it's tough to get a guy out and uh, it, it's even tougher when you're not healthy hey, what happened? Oh, they scored three runs off of him. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, he was, he, was, he was going very good, and uh, he got on a, on a deep count and smoked and uh, left the sinker up in the zone. But I felt that he, he still threw the ball well there. I mean, uh, uh, some balls were hit on the ground. Uh, one went through. The other one was an infield hit. So I still feel that, you know, he, he threw the ball well there. It's just uh, left that sinker up and, and smoked hit it out. Other than that, you know, I had plenty of confidence that he, he could continue to pitch because uh, his stuff was good. He, he um, attacked hitters 21 out of 31st pitches for strikes. I mean, um, he pitched well. Um, probably four runs might not show that, but um, I'll take that effort every time.
You know, um, he has um, turned the corner and, and matured a lot because uh, last year when I my first took over, that was the knock on him that, you know, when things got tough at times he, he used to let him get out of hand and just uh, let in snowball on him. And last year, starting with last year, you know, he's, he's been very good in keeping himself under control and just staying in the moment and not allowing innings to swallow him. And uh, he did that. I mean, he came out right after that and, and threw the ball decent. And, you know, just, uh, just a good effort by uh, the guy who you, know, you want to see every five days.